welcome back on today's video NVIDIA driver install stay tuned guys um, welcome back and a welcome to all my subscribers and absolutely non subscribers thank you for viewing my video um, I'm gonna show you guys a general install video and an advanced install video I tried to do it all at once and at the end of the video you will also get a benchmark from benchmark sorry from Unigen Haven so First of all, this is a simple way to do it. You, whether you're in Ubuntu GNOME or Ubuntu Unity, you hit your Windows key or your super key, type search for software updates, and then this window will pop up in front of you. Now, you're gonna go to additional drivers, and what it will do, it will search your system to see what um, devices that you have on board as well as, as far as having a discrete graphics card or whatever processor that you might have on board. Now, yeah, it's unfortunate I'm still running no hardware, so, and I also installed the um, microcode software in the uh, Synaptics package manager so that um, the actual processor will be able to decode whatever process is using the uh, AMD proprietary software and also once you start this up the first time your system will be using the XORG server uh, new, new the <laughs> Nuvu, Nuvu, or whatever it's called. I can't, my tongue is all lappity dappity today. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, your system is going to be using this open source driver here. And um, for the sake of gaming, um, some of the uh, games that you might play on Steam might require that you use a proprietary driver so I say for those who are going to be gaming on their Linux machine go ahead and update to this driver right here the 367.57 driver go ahead and click that and then you're gonna click on um, apply changes um, obviously I've already done that so I've also made some changes here where I clicked on the uh, source code because this is unticked and make sure that this is connected to the main server. It will link to whatever systems faster if you connect to the main server or you go through this right here and you're going to search for the fastest when you hit other. But anyway, that's for another day. Anyway, you're going to upgrade to this proprietary driver here and then you're going to revert. So I'm going to go ahead and reload this and I'm going to put that to the side. My restart is going to come after the video, obviously. But anyway, that's one way to do it. That's the easy way for people who are coming to Linux for the first time. That is a simple way to do it. Um, I have an old video on YouTube that shows you how to actually install the drivers um, terminal. Do, do, do. Let me go to my channel and my videos and the driver that you're gonna look for. The driver video is. I'm gonna place all the links and stuff for the um, video so that you guys could just copy and paste the scripts into the terminal and get your updates that way. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, 
Right. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah. Man, that's an old video. <laughs> There's that. All of the this information right here, I will copy and paste that into the new video that you're looking at right now. But um, I've already updated my drivers, so there's no need for me to do all that right now. Um, actually, what I think I will do is I will leave a link for the older video in this one in the description below. The processes are identical. The results are the same. You will follow the steps that I have in place on that older video and you will get this stuff installed no problem. Alright, here we go. So for you guys who needs a little walkthrough All of this information here is actually going to be in the description below, so don't get frustrated. It's a simple copy and paste procedure. So as far as the first line here, uh, uh, there we go. Copy. Wow. Slow down. And paste. And you hit enter. You enter your password. And after you enter your password, you're going to hit enter again. And that PPA is going to be installed in your system and then next line copy paste hit enter and then hit enter again that's another line for the PPA the one up top is to uh, do a, uh, a check when your system boots up for any updated drivers for NVIDIA. The second one is obviously for the Xorg Edgers PPA, but um, if you're gonna be running the uh, Vulkan API, this will become irrelevant, so the best thing for you to do is to delete that. Um, anyway, moving on. Update, so you're gonna copy that, paste it, and it's updating next line copy you see how easy this is people all right now from time to time you will have this little line right here okay so it is giving you a brief description of what you need to do to proceed up so what you could do is copy this little line here in quotes just copy that line and then you're gonna type in sudo super user do and then shift control V to paste it in the terminal enter that and it brings up the list of everything that needs to be updated and as you can see here it is referencing a update on my Nvidia driver here so all the Mesa drivers everything that needs to be removed or installed it will list right here for you guys to see everything that's in green is good to go so that is referencing the new install so you're gonna once again copy this line oh what am i doing and da, 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 paste and be careful with this when you're copy and pasting with the mouse that you don't cut and paste because you'll be removing the uh text from wherever you're copying it from all right and then last but not least is gonna be this line here so this I am NOT gonna do because um, I'm not sure what kind of glitches might incur if I install this line again um, just for you guys to see that the drivers are already installed it's right here so you can see the NVIDIA dash 367 and 367 and um, what is currently in the system is just being up, upgraded again so I'm only overlapping whatever driver that I already have so you guys can see right here in quotes 
same thing so I'm not missing anything at all anyway this is what you need to do and we'll be continuing from here next is gonna be the quick little benchmark all right so stay tuned oh and by the way I forgot after you get done with the uh, driver installs you're gonna do sudo reboot in the terminal and once you hit enter it's gonna restart your computer so after you do a general install of the graphics driver make sure that you reboot the system because you're not gonna see the effects of it until when you reboot so make sure you do that please and for those once again who did not this this will run smoothly for those who install the driver freshly but if you have it installed already make sure that you purge I'm gonna type that in here so what you're gonna do is sudo um, oops That's what you're gonna do. To get the old drivers out, that's what you're gonna put in the sudo app purge NVIDIA, whatever current driver you have, you're gonna dash in the number, space, NVIDIA settings. So you take the settings out too. Cause from time to time, if the settings is um, from the previous driver, it'll cause um, issues with the way that the driver actually communicates with the graphics card itself don't ask me why but that's been a common bug bug in the past and it never fails when you do a clean purge and install so make sure you get that done all right now if you already have drivers installed i will put in the description also how to purge the old drivers and then install the new ones and then once you restart you will be up and running no problem all right so that's that go ahead and minimize this get it out of the way okay there was an error ah that kind of stuff always happens when i'm recording and let me see uh let me go ahead and you guys this um, heaven benchmark going right. and then run this there we go and I'm running a Solution, put that to 1920 by 1080. And get this out of the way. Run. I hope the screen doesn't go black like it did last time with the AMD test. Alright, go ahead and click benchmark right away. And it's off to a pretty good start.
that was it for all eyes to see. The achievements were pretty good. Um, the capabilities are being limited by my AMD processor and the RAM that I have on board. That's the bottleneck, bottleneck in my system. Like I said, upgrades in the future will most certainly change some of those results. So, if you guys want to take a look at that, I will most definitely be uploading those videos. So, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to take a look at. So, again, thank you guys for viewing. I appreciate you guys sticking by, checking out these results with me. Next video is going to be the upgrade of the gear. The kid's computer. Peace out.